my YouTube channel a few things okay my dog is now scratching on the door because he wants to join me so hold on okay here's Blake guys my dogs are turning 11 come here boy got another one here they're both turning 11 this year say hi to everyone they are so needy and it's just insane these are my little babies and they follow me around the house. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they literally follow me around the house everywhere I go. Um, even filming most of my YouTube videos for you guys. They're chilling on the floor. You can see how comfortable they are. They just want to sit in my lap all day, every day. So, but I love them. Say bye. As I was saying, welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm so happy to have you here. If you haven't already, please subscribe because our family is growing every time you guys tune into a new video it just makes me super super happy and yeah for those of you who do not know my name is Bianca Koyabe I am a model I'm a content creator I'm a photographer entrepreneur and I just love making videos that inspire you guys motivate you guys and just give you hope and faith and just succeed in your careers and in your lives in general got my tea as you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be, I won't say it's going to be quite a long one, but definitely a personal one. And I was kind of, I was really contemplating creating this video, um, only because everyone's depression story or story with mental health is very different. And so I just want to put a disclaimer out there that everyone's journey is different what everyone feels and experiences is so different and also if you are someone who has never experienced depression it's kind of hard to understand someone who is depressed or has experienced depression because only that person really understands what they're going through um, what I can say though is it's important if you know someone a family member a friend even a stranger someone on Instagram Whoever, if you know someone who has maybe spoken about the fact that they are feeling sad or severely depressed, please reach out to them, please send them a message, please check up on them. A lot of the time it's your strong friend or the person who's always smiling, always happy, who's actually just going through the most. I just had to put that out there because it's really important and it can, it can actually possibly save someone's life. Let's get into this video. I want to share quite a bit with you guys and just be really raw and open and honest about my journey with depression. So grab your tea guys. I got myself a five roses tea with some almond milk. How cute are my new glasses guys? I got these off of Take A Lot. Also, also, I got a lava lamp. Like, your girl got a lava lamp. I mean, when last did you see a lava lamp? I gotta show you guys my lava lamp. Look at it, it's so cute. Let's get into it, guys. I wanted to start off by saying that depression is something, it's a word that we're hearing a lot today. And there are a lot of factors that can contribute, especially in this day and age with social media and just societal pressures. There's a lot of factors that are now making the depression level so high. That's not to say that if someone says they have depression that they're making it up or they are seeking attention. People who are depressed have different ways of expressing it. I am obviously not speaking about other people in today's video, I'm speaking about myself. And I can honestly say that I'm 
not someone who shows my emotion to the public in terms of when I'm having a bad day, when I'm feeling really sad, when I'm feeling very low, when I am very depressed. I don't like to show that side because I feel like it ends up attracting negative energy. Probably only my family members and my boyfriend will know if I'm going through an, ex an extremely tough time. I'm one of those people who you won't see me making a status about feeling sad or going through a really, really tough time. I rather work through it. You don't really notice it because I always, always post about positive things. That's how I've lived my life and that's how I've been able to get through tough times is instead of feeding into that negativity, I just throw positivity at it. I think maybe I should start off by saying when I first realized I may have been depressed. At the age of about 21, I'm 26 now, I was able to reflect back and kind of figure out that I started getting these feelings of sadness and just like deep sadness, crying for no reason, um, feeling like I had maybe lost someone or I, I was going through a heartbreak and that started from about the age of 16. I would cry a lot and I mean my poor mother just didn't know what to do and you know it was tough and she was kind of just like oh you know maybe it's puberty which is fair. I went to an all-girls school so there's a lot of pressures. When it really, really hit me was probably at the age of 21, 2021. And um, that was just a time where I didn't believe in myself at all. I was also convinced that I was just an ugly human being. And I'm not saying that in a funny way. I, I genuinely thought I was ugly. That stemmed from all the bullying that I experienced when I was in high school. It was both girls and boys telling me that, you know, my skin was too dark, that I should go back to my country. My parents are originally from Kenya and I was born in Namibia but grew up in South Africa. So there was always this weird, like, I didn't belong vibe. I was made to feel like an outcast all the time. So I was bullied a heck load. And that really did impact how I viewed myself. I started modeling around that time. Around 1920, I started modeling. And even still, I didn't start modeling because I was like, I'm beautiful and I'm going to be the next big model. I was just very lost. I was at a very lost place in my life. I joined an agency and I started going for castings and once I started booking shoots and getting onto set, I used to get a lot of compliments on my skin tone and the texture of my skin and just my features. And for me, you know, it was difficult to understand and to process. I was kind of like, thanks. I finally felt like, you know, maybe I belong somewhere. Maybe this is something that's I can do for a while. So this is pretty much where I think a lot of my body image issues stemmed from. It's not that all the comments about me were bad. I would have my family or family friends or some of my friends parents or whoever telling me that you know I'm beautiful and all of these things. The problem is that um, I never actually believed them. And I think, you know, when you're, in, when you're so convinced by all the negative things you hear, you really start to believe them. Fast forward now to, let's say, the last three years. This, I think, is when my depression really hit me the hardest and was just at its peak. And it would be on and off. I would have months where I feel great and I'm not sad and I'm just flourishing and things are good. And then I'd also have months where I just can't do anything. If you have depression or have had depression, you'll know what it feels like to not want to get out of bed, to not want to go shower, to not have the energy to even go to the shop, to not have the energy to meet up with friends. I had to take quite a bit of time off, I'd say about two years ago, but it was like intermittent because 
during my depression I'd book a really really big job and something that I'd wanted for a long time for years how do you say no to that so there would be situations where I just have to pull myself together arrive on set and do what I have to do and then go home and this is me being honest <laughs> I, I don't want to hold anything back because I really hope that someone who's watching this video can get some hope and I can I can hopefully help you to just realize that you're not alone and that you can come out of wherever you're stuck. I would call myself almost bedridden for a good two months at some point. I was really struggling to get out of bed and not because I was just lazy and ah, oh, press snooze on my alarm, but genuinely I felt like I couldn't move. Like I could not move and get out of the bed. It would be around 12 p.m. where I kind of like open my eyes and like, oh, what day is it today? Deep down inside, I so badly wanted to wake up early and go exercise and you know do my stuff, but I ha I I didn't have the the physical capacity to do so, which was quite scary. I also became very dependent on alcohol. That was kind of my escape, and I was in denial about it for a long time. But it was my escape because I was able to just have fun and you know, have some wine and all is good and now fast forward to about the beginning of this year, even end of last year, I had a very difficult and stressful time which I've spoken about briefly, very very briefly, but it really knocked me and I felt like I just hit zero and I had no energy. I had nothing left in me, I was exhausted of all my creativity, all my positivity, everything was just gone. And the difficult part is that I still had to be the strong person because I'm the type of person who's there for everyone. I am the one who's always checking in on other people. I am the one who's usually giving advice to people. I am the one who is providing a lot for people in different ways. It's something that I feel like I was put on this earth to do but it became difficult when I was really in the pits of hell to put it lightly and people needed stuff from me and there were times where I just wanted to hide away. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that's something that I have been dealing with for years. That's pretty much why I wanted to make this video because I want to share with all of you guys who may be struggling with depression or who know someone who is, even anxiety because I'm, I'm a very highly strung person, I get stressed very easily and so I am very anxiety prone. And just how I've been able to eradicate it all naturally and through exercise and through using my mind. I want to give you hope and I want you to know that you're not alone and depression is not your life. You have a bigger life out there, you have a bigger purpose out there and you can't let anything, especially what's going on in here, you can't let that hold you back from what you're really supposed to be doing on this earth. So the first thing that I did guys, I literally woke up one morning it was February, I think it was February the 19th. And I was like, enough is enough. Literally, something just happened. I woke up and I was like, enough is enough. I just went back to the basics. Just to let you know, <laughs> there's no magic tricks in this video. Um, this is just reality. And if if you don't make the conscious decision that you really, really, really want to get, a, get out of where you, are, where you are, if you don't want to make that conscious decision to get out of where you are, where you're stuck, it's going to be a very difficult process. It already is a difficult process when you decide that you've had enough. I spent a lot of time alone. I spent a lot of time praying. And also taking responsibility for for the place that I was at because I can't just blame it all on depression. So once you make up your mind, you have to stick to it as hard as it is, as difficult as it is, as much as that negative voice creeps in. Because it creeps in, let me tell you, it creeps in. Don't listen to that voice, don't do it because it's going to hold you back and before you know it, years are going to go by 
you are going to miss out on time with your friends your family your career is gonna suffer i literally wrote down weekly goals daily goals monthly goals that's how slow i had to take it i had to take each day by the hour and that's how gentle you have to be with yourself you can't expect miracles to happen overnight so write down a list of things that you want to achieve the next day the next week the next month and from then on you can obviously increase it but that's how you start you are still gonna wake up the next day and really not want to get out of bed but you have to force yourself out of bed and i do this thing or rather i did this thing i don't do it anymore because i'm fine now to just jump out of bed but my boyfriend taught me about it it's basically called the launch method or something like that and as your alarm goes off don't press snooze don't press snooze as soon as the alarm goes off your head you go five five four three two one and then you launch out of bed next thing is i started taking care of my health again i cut out alcohol i cut out dairy i cut out quite a bit of red meat so i was eating more pescatarian and um drinking a ton of water so i put my health first again because it had deteriorated because i was so depressed and anxious that i was just eating crap because it made me feel good but it actually didn't because i would i was gaining weight my skin was breaking out it just wasn't working out for me and it's hard in the beginning especially when you you've been binge eating and just eating crap and chicken wings and chips and you got to cut it out and really go back to whole natural foods. I just started to spend a lot more time outside in nature going for walks and literally like just in my garden. Like I wouldn't walk far I'd, because in the beginning it was tough. So I just take a few steps outside and it just it felt good. I thought I knocked over my tea but my tea's here. And I would do that first thing in the morning. So I'd wake up around 6.30, 7.00. And I'll just go outside and I'll just stand there and close my eyes and listen to the birds and listen to the leaves and listen just to the other sounds that were going on, listen to some of the cars passing by. And that goes on now to my next point, which is meditation. There's different types of meditation. I usually do a 10 minute morning meditation and that's as soon as I wake up. As soon as I open my, uh, my eyes in the morning, I do this meditation. And honestly, it's changed my whole life. I became closer to God and instead of asking him to like get me out of this place that I was in, I just thanked him for my life, for, for the fact that I'm breathing, for the fact that I'm privileged and blessed enough to be able to do what I love doing. I started to really just, anything negative, I would shove it with positivity. And not to say I would mask my feelings, but I would just, throw positivity that way if I was feeling even if I had like a little feeling of oh do I really have to do this day today I would just take a moment I would breathe I would take about six breaths in and out and kind of talk to myself talk to God and um, basically just remind myself that I'm lucky and um, that's something that's so important to remember that's something that we take for granted that there's always someone under us who wants to have the life that we have so if you're going through something don't forget to appreciate the good parts in your life because not everything is bad trust me i started exercising intensely i started off with yoga which i had never done before and yoga has changed my whole life try out a class and then let me know how you feel and boxing as well and then I'll just do, I'll go for walks with my mom. And um, those, those are the types of things that, that I would do exercise wise because my exercise regime had fallen right out the window and um, it really had a negative effect on me. I started uh, focusing on creating a good sleep pattern. So sleeping at a certain time so that I can wake up at a certain time. It was hard in the beginning but it's definitely helped me. I feel more rested and I just feel, I feel good. Next thing is, this works for me because I'm a bit of a control freak. Mm, I do time blocking. A friend of mine actually told me about time blocking and I was kind of like, oh, what is that? And that's because I was in such a bad place. I was kind of like, um, I'm not really interested. But, 
but basically I block out certain times of my day to do certain things just to make sure I'm as efficient as possible and it started off slow in the beginning it started off like from this time to this time meditate from this time to this time read a book from this time to this time make your healthy meal from this time to this time um, go fit your brother from school so take it slow that's what you need to remember lastly I I just I feel so grateful to be alive honestly I don't even know how else to explain it but I feel so grateful that I'm able to share what I know with people that's why I was put on this earth I was put on this earth to help people and to motivate people to inspire people and the best way that I know how to do that is by creating videos like this it's by continuing my modeling career it's by content creation it's by being my authentic self. I really do see it as a blessing. Find your purpose. Sit down and find your purpose. And it obviously doesn't come to you like this. But just take time to think. What is your purpose on this earth? Why were you put on this earth? What are you passionate about? What makes you feel good? As someone in the entertainment industry, in the beginning it was like, my passion is helping people? Like, that's so weird. But... It's not weird. It makes me feel so good inside and I know that I'm doing my job on earth. That's what keeps me going. That's what helps me with not falling back into that hole of depression. And I want to just remind you guys that you're not always going to feel good. Let's say you've come out of depression. For myself, I don't always have good days. I ha I really do have days where I'm like feeling a little low, but I I I go through those motions, I feel them, I don't mask them, I feel them. And I ask myself, why do I feel like this? Okay, maybe I won't have the answer that time, but I let myself go through that process of maybe feeling a bit sad, having a little cry, it's normal, feeling a bit angry, feeling a bit irritable, just going through those motions but not allowing them to consume my life. The minute I stopped putting so much attention on the fact that, oh, I'm depressed, you know, hiding under that umbrella, I was able to really start living. And the same applies for my anxiety. I'm really able to start living. Yes, I have anxious moments because I'm an anxious type person. I don't hide under that umbrella or use that umbrella of, oh, I have anxiety. And that's because I don't want it to consume me. I don't want to be labeled as that. But of course, I will have anxious moments, but I don't need to keep reiterating this word anxiety 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 depression 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 it's there of course it is there it will eventually start to peel away and your true self will shine will come back even better and um, that's just me being honest with you guys because we live in a world where people are only showing their perfect selves and their holidays and new phones and new cars and relationships and um, I feel like that's just you need to remember that not everything you see online is true first of all and second of all don't ever compare yourself to anyone else you are your own person you are unique and you need to remember that and that's something that will carry you because why would you want to be anyone else why would you want anyone else's life I'm proud of my life I'm proud of my achievements I'm proud of my family I'm proud of who I am. There won't ever be another Bianca Koyabe, just like there won't be another you. That's something that I really want you guys to remember. My tea got cold and I was talking so much, the lighting is pretty much gone. And in my head while I was filming, I was like, oh my gosh, should I refilm this? But honestly, I just wanted it to be candid. I really wanted to get this out because it's something that I think needs to be spoken about more. It is starting to be spoken about, but we need to speak about it even more. And I want you to remember that you have everything you need to get to where you want to be. Do what you can with what you have right now. I love that quote and it's really important because it helps you, especially in times when you're comparing yourself. Do what you can with what you have right now. That is the most important thing that you can do. That's me in a nutshell, guys. I'm going to go warm up my tea now. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If it helped you, please let me know down below in the comments. 
just know that I'm always here for you guys. I want to continue creating videos that are inspiring, that are motivational, that are uplifting. That's what I love to do. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in my next video. And as always, I love you all. Mwah. Bye.